Once a refugee from communist rule, Madeleine Albright's journey is a uniquely American story. Born Marie Korbelova, the daughter of a Czech diplomat, Albright arrived in the U.S. at age 11. After raising a family and earning a Ph.D., she went on to advise three Democratic presidential candidates, became ambassador to the U.N. I am Madeleine Corbell Albright. And the country's first female Secretary of State in 1997. How significant is it that a woman is now Secretary of State for the United States of America? Well, I think it's very important that uh, that glass ceiling has been smashed. A lot of the issues that people don't think are usually foreign policy issues, I'm going to make sure that people understand that they are. That same year, she learned, after spending her life as a Christian, that her grandparents were Jewish and had been victims of the Holocaust, recounting that here on Today. They were such amazingly good people who I think were trying very hard to put a very, very painful past behind them. An experience that informed her work ending genocide in Kosovo. Now it's an independent country, and there's a whole generation of little girls whose first name is Madeline. In recent years, Albright spoke out forcefully against Vladimir Putin, recalling in an op-ed the day before Putin invaded Ukraine that when she first met him more than 20 years ago, she wrote in her notes, Putin is embarrassed by what happened to his country and determined to restore its greatness. Albright was awarded a Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2012. A friend to many, including Colin Powell, Albright speaking at his funeral last year. We can almost hear a familiar voice asking us, no, commanding us, to stop feeling sad, to turn our gaze once again from the past to the future and to get on with the nation's business while making the absolute most of our own days on earth, one step at a time. The president ordered flags lowered to half-staff at all public and military buildings around the world, a tribute to a much-loved diplomat who never forgot her origins as a grateful mm. refugee to America. And at the end, of course, refugees again. Uh, in, throughout Europe, yeah. just as she was as a child. So mm -hmm. poignant, mm -hmm. Andrea. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And she never forgot that. Actually, President Obama at the Medal of Freedom mm -hmm. ceremony told mm -hmm. this wonderful story about how Albright, during one of her travels, had met a refugee who said, I can't believe it, a refugee is meeting the American Secretary of State. Yeah. And she said, the American Secretary of State is Oh, a my word. Yeah. Oh, my word. Yeah. Wow. She was wow. really, I mean, Very we actually need yeah. her wisdom now. Yeah. But luckily, her uh, legacy lives on. Her life well lived mm -hmm. indeed. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.